episode of Fishing with Big D. As you can tell, it's a beautiful spring day. You can hear everybody out mowing their yards, cleaning up their debris. Um, you know, everybody's real productive now that they're kind of stuck home in these troublesome times. Uh, me personally, though, today I'm going to take the time to do some modifications on my Pelican Bass Raider 10E. As you know, in the last video, I picked this boat up and I'm going to make this a project boat. Um, I love my kayak, but can't always take little B with me fishing or my wife. So I ended up getting something a little bit neater. It's not nowhere near as expensive as a bass boat or a John boat. And altogether, I think I might have about six to eight hundred dollars in this project. But I wanted to show you step by step on each of the modifications. So today I'm going to be modifying the floor. I wanted to show you the original base here. You can see this is what it looks like. It's got this riveted body. Just a bunch of little blown up, I guess you'd call them risers in the polyurethane molding. And uh, lets water and stuff and little debris get in there as you can see. I'm gonna clean this out real good, but I want to put a carpeted bottom in here. And I've saw some other people do different modifications where they took a piece of USB treated board and carpeted it and run it the whole length of the boat but that adds a lot of unnecessary weight in my opinion and I want to keep the weight as low as I can because if I do fish this by myself it's really tough to load this in and out of the truck because I don't have a trailer just yet but that's a different thing a different story so let me show you what I come up with I went to my local marketplace store in my case it was Ollie's uh, they have a lot of carpet indoor and outdoor carpet for sale and it's pretty cheap I ended up finding these industrial style mats they have the real nice thick rubber coating on the bottom and then the indoor outdoor carpet here as you can see the label there it's gladiator indoor outdoor utility mats i think this is going to work out perfect but i'm going to have to trim it down to size so let me show you exactly what i'm going to do i just took my measuring tape and i got the inside measurement So I'm looking at roughly 21 and a half inches. And all I'm gonna do is measure these carpets and cut them down to size so they'll fit. And then I'm gonna come up with some sort of material. I'm thinking some felt tape that's sticky on both sides to secure it to the bottom so it doesn't slide. That way it'll be raised up and it'll still have the rivets in there so that water could pass around freely and evaporate. And it won't just stay puddled in there and make nasty mildew smell so let me show you the first step so the first one I've already cut to size I just left that one whole so that you guys can see the example ended up cutting this off both sides so I could take the plastic rim off that way this will fit nice and snug in the bottom of my boat and I'll show you how that looks right here course I'll remove the stickers and stuff when I get ready to finalize this as you can see I've trimmed everything off except for this SS slip right here Oop, actually I got the wrong one in. let me show you this one first there we go now on the second one I've actually trimmed this lip off as well and it will overlap this lip right here if you guys can see that and what I'm going to do there is I'm going to find some kind of super industrial glue probably and I'll end up gluing these two pieces together so it looks like a full runner and then I'll work my way down here and do that as well and that'll give you a general idea on what it's going to look like guys I'll have the carpeted bottom it'll be slip resistant and it's water resistant if I need to take this out and rinse my boat out, I'll be able to fully remove that really easy. And I didn't add a bunch of additional weight. That was my goal. And that's gonna be my project for the floor. I'll finish trimming this up and getting it right. I'll show you what I'm gonna do to secure it to the bottom of the boat. Like I said, I'll probably try to find some felt tape. I think that would work good. I can peel it off. In the long run, I can change the piece out. 
scrape the sticky residue off and it still looks like the day I bought it. No real modifications, no drilling into the boat. I absolutely want to get by with the smallest amount of modifications that require me to drill holes in this thing. But I think it'll turn out good. Stay tuned and I'll show you the finished product. Alright guys, so we're down to the last piece. I've got it rolled out. I haven't put my sticky under just yet, but I ended up making some slanted cuts right here just so it would follow the shape of the boat and I've got this drop off it's like a little well compartment I'm not going to carpet that just so I can leave some uh, a section to where I could let that water drain off and I'll probably have some kind of features or something right here overall I'm thinking I'm going to do a battery box but all right guys I just wanted to show you that I'm getting ready to finish the process I've got some velcro stripping that I'm using uh, you can get that at Walmart and online stores, Amazon. Got it pretty cheap. I'll put the link down below. Uh, I ordered the correct size that would fit the rivet. So, not for sure exactly what the inches was. I had to look it back up. But if you want to find the same material as me, uh, I'll have a link down below. But you can also use a like silicone material or industrial glue if you don't ever intend on having this uncarpeted. I wouldn't recommend it if you're wanting to take it back out later for resale, but I don't plan on doing that. So, whatever floats your boat, guys. This is how I'm going to do it. Alright, guys. I just want to show you my finished product. We've got the entire bottom of the boat carpeted. With the exception of the two drop-off sections there. I wanted to leave that open just because... Uh, there'll still be water that gets in the bottom of this boat as i'm fishing and i wanted to be able to turn this up on its side and still allow the water to drain into these sections where they could air out uh, where it's raised up those little rivets in the bottom or ribs i guess what you call them in the molded polyurethane that'll still have tracks in it to allow this water to instead of set in the carpet and saturating it'll just run off to these deeper pools right here and I'll be able to turn the boat up and drain it out when I'm done <clears throat> still pretty lightweight and I was able to carpet this without putting a wood bottom I didn't want to do that just because I didn't want to take away from the little bit of depth that I do have and I didn't want to add unnecessary weight I think this is going to work great if I need to do any kind of work I can pull these up one section at a time since it's in three sections can't really tell other than that seam there but everything looks good hopefully it doesn't peel up on the corners but i think the sticky tape will work just fine with the velcro uh overall this project took me about an hour and 30 minutes probably less for you i just did a lot of measuring and stuff that really wasn't that necessary you could pretty much eyeball this by putting it in and making a mark and then cutting them all the same length so if i had to do it over you could probably do this in an hour carpet wise like i said guys i got these at my local ollie store they have the rubber bottom on them and i spent six dollars and i think it was 50 cent a piece i got three sections this is what i had left over in scrap i'm going to save that because one of my next projects once i get my trolley motor selected and my battery and battery box i'm going to be making a battery box back there to hide it and i'll probably use this as a part of that project so like i said 18 bucks worth of carpet i've got the bottom of my bass raider decked out i uh, just going to work some more on cleaning it up getting rid of some of these stickers that are already fading out uh, overall i'm really proud how the project's turning out stay tuned for more modifications guys